we're here in Calgary, Alberta right now. We just delivered that load of styrofoam. We're headed over to our reload. Looks like we're gonna make it. I was scared we weren't gonna make it. We'd be stuck here all Easter weekend. But it looks like we're gonna make it. Are these people all merging into my lane or do they have their own lane? Okay, good, it turns into a three lane here. I've got my two GPSs arguing with each other here. One is my Garmin on my dash and the other one is Google. And I trust the Google one because I checked her work and it's like half an hour shorter to get there using this route. So I don't know what Mandy's problem is over here. She keeps dinging at me and saying I shouldn't be here. Why is this a no truck route to you, Mandy? Look at this, this is a truck route. Don't be silly. Continue 8.1 kilometers on Glenmore Trail Southeast. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I told you, Glenmore Trail is a truck road. Why would you think it's not? Apparently underneath that bridge wasn't a truck road. Just under the bridge. Here it is again. And before it was too. But just under the bridge. <laughs> I need to update this. Oh, this is where Chinook Mall is. Oh, cool. I've, I remember coming here. This is a pretty big mall. I remember coming here a couple of times. It's off to the right. Man, they need to update it. It looks all faded. Thanks. Oh, buddy, you had your signal on. Give her. There you go. There you go. Oh, you're being held up by Mrs. Bumper Stickers over here. She's got some statements to tell people. Look at all those bumper stickers. She wants to tell you something. What is it? Save the whales? Save the trees? I can't read them. Too small to read? They don't matter. In three kilometers, use the right two lanes to take the Crowchild Trail North exit. Okay, so Crowchild, that's where we're going. And that's going to take us up, pretty much straight up. I think it's Highway 4 towards Cochrane, Alberta. I should get in the right lane then. Oh, he's beside me. Coming on over, people. Look out. I haven't been in this area of the city in quite a while. I am told to follow this very kind and nice gentleman. He's gonna load me right up to Canadian weights because I'm not going to the US, so we're gonna be heavy. So uh, I gotta deliver this load into Winnipeg next Monday. It's Thursday right now. Uh, tomorrow is Good Friday, and I will be home for Easter Sunday, which is good. But that also means that I'm gonna be home well, I can't complain. I'm not complaining about being home. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm complaining about not working, making money. I'd rather be on the road. I tried to get like a local guy to deliver the load for me, and uh, I said I was available to leave like Saturday morning. Just send me right back out. And unfortunately, freight is pretty slow right now. It is the Easter season, uh, Easter weekend, so you know everybody's shut down, as they should be. You know, it's it's Easter. We shouldn't be at work. So uh, I'll deliver this Monday, then I made myself available to leave uh, right after that. Hopefully they'll have something for me. But it's sort of a, a good and bad thing. It's good that I'm home for Acer, bad that I'm not going to be making money, but hey, I, I can't complain. Where art thou taking me, my friend? Mon ami, where are you taking me? He said all the way to the other end of the yard. I don't know where the yard ends. This yard is huge. Look at this, you got the finished product on the right here. You got the the brand new logs or the, the freshly harvested logs off to the left. X, there we go. Oh, this is soft here. I don't want to drive here. Okay, I'll just stay close to this lumber off to the right. We'll be, we'll be fine. Look at all that wood, hey? Wow! That's a lot of trees. Wow. Can you imagine? This is only one of like hundreds and hundreds of lumber yards <laughs> in this area of the country. We're gonna find a way to grow trees faster. Oh, we're going around the corner. Dang it, you're gonna you're gonna make me drive in the puddle. I'm not driving in the puddle. No. I'm not getting my truck all muddy. I'm gonna see if I can make this corner without going through the puddle. 
Oh yeah, Trucker Josh has got this. Check it out. Oh yeah, okay, so we're going around here. Where'd he go? Dang it, I lost him. I lost him. Oh, 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 there he is. Okay, so I guess he's gonna load me right here, I'm guessing, right in the center of this area. No tarp required on this lumber, so that makes me a happy trucker. Good, all right. All right, so I am required to stay in the truck. And so are you, Chevy. You're allowed to be here. Yeah, but you gotta stay inside the truck with me, okay? The whole time. Yeah, we gotta wait till we're done here, okay? I know what you want. You, you. Gotta wait till we're done here, okay? Such a good boy. Such a good boy. You, you, you're a good boy. So yeah, I'm not allowed to get out of the truck until he says that I can when he's done loading. And I gotta wear my Sunday best. I guess technically it would be my Easter best since it's Easter. And down the road we go. We're taking our time getting home. I'm uh, gonna get as good fuel economy and burn as less fuel as I, as the least amount of fuel as I can. Cause I have to deliver this load on Monday. I can't get going anytime sooner than that. So I am looking forward to going home. I think my my paw-in-law is coming down on Saturday, and we're going to my mother-in-law's on Sunday for Easter. So Britt's dad and stepmom just got back from a vacation to Hawaii. So I'm anxious to hear all about it on Saturday. I think her stepmom Cynthia has to work. But uh, her dad's coming out, so that'd be pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to seeing Britt's mom on uh, Sunday for Easter as well. Not too sure what time we're going there. Probably sometime in the afternoon, we'll see. She lives in Winnipeg, so it's a little bit of a drive in, but haven't seen them in a while. Uh, Britt's mom and stepdad, that is. Uh, they have that cabin, I've taken you to the cabin with me once or twice there. Looking forward to summer camping and cabin season again. Really like to get some camping in this year. So we're taking our time to save the fuel. I mean, I'm only pulling lumber back to Winnipeg and I got all this time to get there and lumber does not pay very well. It pays, but not very well. So why would I burn more fuel than I have to pull in a load that's not really that valuable? That's not paying me that much, right? All the extra fuel I burn comes out of my pocket. So we're gonna take our time. We're going up to Medicine Hat today, which is a few hours ahead of us. That's in Alberta still. We're gonna sleep there. We're gonna sleep in tomorrow, get a good rest. And we're gonna go to, uh, I'm not too sure where we'll make it to tomorrow. We'll see. I'm gonna stop at the gym in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, that little gym there, at Snap Fitness. And then the next day we'll get home. So that'll be Saturday morning, afternoon that I'll be getting home. And then I'll be home till, well, I gotta deliver this load Monday morning in Winnipeg. And then I made myself available to go out right away again. What are these guys doing, switching drivers? At least they pulled off the road, you know? So many people, when they wanna switch drivers on a road trip, they'll just pull onto the shoulder here and just like swing their door open into traffic and wonder why people are honking at them. Like, are, do you want to die? No, get off the road. Don't stop on the shoulder unless it's an emergency. Like you got a flat tire or your, your kid's puking in the back or something. And then try to pull off as far as you can. Like maybe even on a, a, a little section like this where there's a, a turning lane. That, that way you can get a little further out of the line of traffic. But if at all possible, like pull off onto that side road there, get off the highway. Don't just park on the shoulder. All it takes is for one person not to be paying attention at the right moment and you get schmucked and people die. There's a reason why on freeways in the United States at least, uh, correct me if I'm wrong Americans, and, and highways in Eastern Canada and the big busy highways, it's illegal to stop on the shoulder unless it's an emergency. That's why they don't want you to die. Nice of them to care so much, right? That's why those laws are there. If you didn't know those laws existed, now you know. 
don't know why I'm snapping. Apparently clapping is triggering. If you clap too much in universities now, the snowflakes in the, the universities, they find that triggering. So they snap instead of... <laughs> We're getting off topic here. Redcliffe, Alberta. Greenhouse capital of Canada. That's their slogan. We're just like on the other side of the valley from Medicine Hat. So I just sort of all clump it together with Medicine Hat, but I know locals would be like, hey! So uh, it is two separate things, but we're in Redcliffe, Alberta, Medicine Hat. Uh, we're gonna be turning left right here, I believe. Or is that the next one? There's a Burger King here, is that new? Makes me want Burger King. No, next intersection. It's a Petro Pass truck stop. We stop here quite often. I'm gonna pull in there for the night, and from here I could make it home in one day, but we're gonna take it easy, like I said, trying to save some fuel, and we're gonna stop in Moose Jaw for a good workout at the gym tomorrow in Saskatchewan, and then uh, we'll probably sleep, I'm guessing probably around Brandon or Portage La Prairie, somewhere close to home, and then we'll do the rest of the, the little, the little, little rest of the way on Saturday morning. We'll be home then. Then we're not rushing ourselves. We're getting proper sleeps. Hopefully we get some green lights. There we go. And everything should be good. I'm really hungry though. I need to have some supper. I'm guessing Chevy's pretty hungry too, eh? Chevy, you hungry? Well, your ears perked up, so that must mean something good. Here we are. You guys remember this place, right? I already see that we have a beautiful spot waiting for us. I'm gonna show you in a second. Oh, we could park right here. Well, that's nice. No, no, I'm gonna go park over here. Actually, that is kind of a nice spot. I sort of do wanna park over there. Nah, I'm gonna park over here right at the end, all by myself. No neighbors, nice and quiet. And that's it, boys and girls, that's it for today. I got nothing else to show you. I gotta go to bed, but hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Tomorrow we'll make a new trucking video. I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. And if there's nobody there, I'll take you with me. Guess you'll just have to tune in to see. One of these days, I'll unleash these guys on you. <laughs> Can you say that's true? <laughs> See you tomorrow.